Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging, and today I'm going to tell you why pied ball pythons are the best. So let's get started. Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles, and today we're going to be talking about ball pythons. Um, and my personal favorite is pied ball pythons. I'm going to explain it to you for guys who are newer. I'm going to show you a couple of different morphs and variations that I have, and we're just going to talk about it a little bit. So this right here is my male. His name's Two-Face. He's actually got a weird little smiley face here, and a very good one right there. He's the dad of a lot of the pides this season, and I've had him for a little bit. He was one of my good friends, Sean's, and I was lucky enough to get him, but he's a very good snake. Um, everyone just ate a couple of days ago, so I'm not going to mess with them too much, but... I'm going to show you this is just a normal pied. Pieds can have a lot of different variations. So this one right here, he's got a lot of darks, a lot of light. He's around a medium, uh, medium to lower end white, but he's more of a light brown. He's a pretty basic looking pied, except he has the smileys. Sometimes pieds have the polka dots on them, sometimes they don't. But I'm gonna show you a couple different variations of normals just to show you how much difference there can be. So when it comes to pied, this is a recessive gene, which means both parents have to be pied or het for pied to make more of them. So basically they both have to look like this or you have to know for a fact that the parents were het or heterozygous, which means they carry the genetics. So if you put a normal with this guy, none of them are gonna look like this. A whole other video on the basis of genetics and stuff like that, but just to, for the basic beginners, um, you need two pieds to make more pieds. That's why they're more expensive. You can get a more basic, like a lesser, pastel, stuff like that for a lot cheaper. These guys are always a little bit more expensive because you need two of them to make them. So they're always going to be a little higher end. In particular, are one of my very, very high favorites. That's why I'm making this video. I really like the GHI combos because of how different it makes their patterns appear. But pieds, that's really what I have the most of, so we're doing this video on pied. All right, just to show you guys a little bit of difference. So here's that original boy that we were holding. This is Two-Face. I think she's mid-shed right now. So she's gonna look a little bit different, but you can, even in the mid-shed, I'm not gonna mess with her too much, but you can see she's got the black striping, and you've, she's also got this super bright yellow all the way around the outside. Once she's shed, we'll put a picture in here for you. She is super bright yellow, especially compared to him, and he's she's a little bit more high white. Hear that? She's a little pissed, so normally that's why you don't mess with them when they're in shed, but we're trying to film a video and they're not all cooperating. So, this girl right here, hold on. So this girl right here is another example of a pied. Again, she's actually a bit darker all the way around. Um, she's just a very dark female. She's got a little bit of yellow, but if you flash back to him, you can see slightly the difference. He's got a lot more colors, a lot more patterns, stuff like that. They're around the same size, especially right here on his back. You can see how it goes from dark spot to light spot. They're all completely different though, but still they're all normal pieds. So to show you some dramatic differences, this is still again our base normal pied, but when you take a normal pied and you breed it with a few other things, this one up here, this is a pastel Enchi pied. So you can see how crazy bright she is. Get them both in the same shot just to show you how crazy. That's just pastel mixed with Enchi. And he is your normal run of the mill pied with a nice little smiley. But just a couple extra genes is all it takes to make these animals completely different. Now this one is what you would call a low white pied. As you can see, sorry. as you can see right here, and right here she's got a little bit of white, and by her genetics we know she's a pied, but all of these guys just ate two days ago, so I'm not trying to mess with them too much. So I'm showing you guys, um, they can't see this because it's not, it doesn't have a heat register, so it's not bothering them as much as my hand would be. But you can see right here, a little bit of white on her, Pastel inchy pied down by your feet. That is a normal pied. This is a normal albino ball python. You can have some that are more high contrast. You can have some brighter. You have some darker, but that is a normal albino ball python. It is a female albino pied. This animal is a double recessive, which means not only do you need both parents need to be pied, both parents need to be albino in order to get her. 
They, again, could be the heterozygous. They could be het for albino, het for pi to be able to do this, but both parents have to have both sets of genes. So this is a much more expensive animal than a regular albino or a regular pi. This is a albino pi. That is our female. And to show, again, the contrast, our male albino pi. He is much more highlighter yellow, if you will. He, let's see, he's much more highlighter yellow. She's a lot more orange. I'm going to be able to see him a little bit better. And he's a little bit lower uh, color. He's a little more uh, lower white than she is. But these two are the parents for our albino pieds. He definitely looks more... He definitely is a lot brighter, but she's more orange. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Mix it with something like a banana. Right here is our female banana pie. She actually looks like she's going a little bit into shed, so she's a little bit darker. But I'll show you her daughter as well. I've shown her in a couple of videos. But... Um, you could, again, these are not mites. When bananas are um, aging, they get more and more dots. Some have less like this, and some have a crap ton. Her daughter already has some, and she's only had two sheds so far. This one, again, is along the lines, this is a pastel enchi, but we also add pinstripe, which gives you the almost like a polka dot effect. But he is, again, a, a slightly lower white pied, but he is a pastel enchi pinstripe pied which gives you a completely different pattern, and completely different look to it. Still has a little bit of the black, um, but the more you jeans you add to this, the crazier their patterns start to become. So uh, the reason why I specifically say that pieds are the best, pieds this year are what I held back the most. I'll show you my holdbacks for this year. This first one, he is not a pied, but he's pretty darn stinking cute. A GHI Mojave, which is why uh, you've seen these that are black. I actually have one that is black, it's a regular GHI Mojave, but he also has banana thrown in, which gives him the purple. So, in a contrast, I showed him on a different video, but this is a GHI Mojave. The only difference is we're adding banana, which is what my whole bad, hold back boy is. They're definitely smaller babies, they were born pretty small, but they both had four meals at this point. But this is a normal GHI Mojave, it's a very nice dark one, GHI Banana Mojave. So that's the only boy I'm holding back this season. Also, his mother is a banana, and anyone who knows anything about them, it actually now makes that a female maker. So if he has any banana babies, that mean, that automatically means they should produce females. You saw both the parents. This is a albino pied. As you see, very high letter yellow, just like the dad, but also is a slightly orange, especially back here on the saddles. I've always wanted a higher white. And unfortunately, the last two seasons, for whatever reason, we only got male albino pieds. So this was finally an albino pied for me to hold back. And she's got a really cool stripe. So I thought she'd be a really nice hold back. So this is our first pied, and it's an albino. So the girl that you guys saw earlier, that was Beast. This is her daughter. She is just like it. She'll probably strike at the camera. She's incredibly feisty. She was in one of our other videos because she has the polka dots on her side. Almost looks like a smiley face right here. Her dad's smiley and her mom is Beast. And she was just, had such cool, fun patterns. We're keeping her also, so she, this is another pied. This right here is our banana pied. We showed her in quite a few videos, but this is her. She doesn't really show up on camera as well as she is in person, but she is super bright purple, high orange, very low yellow. Uh, the mom is the one that you just saw. But she's doing really good. She was pretty stubborn and she only wanted mice in the beginning. We finally got her over to rats. And, and like I said before, she's starting to get the polka dots in, which always freak me out. Always worried that they have mites or something like that, but bananas get dots as they age. And this right here, this one's not really a holdback. One of my good friends, his name's Cody. He's gotten quite a few things from me. He had this little girl. She is a cinnamon pied. She is very feisty. She loves to strike. She also loves to eat. Very much on the aggressive snippy side. And I was lucky enough to scoop her up from him. So hopefully we'll be able to have some cinnamon pieds in the future. Something I've always wanted, but it finally worked out. She's mid-shed, so she's starting to turn a little bit pink. But this is our last pied. Very feisty, but much better than she was. 
And this one right here, this is one last pied. This is a Mojave pied. It looks just like the dad with the nice dark striping on the outside. This specific baby is already sold, but I just wanted to be able to show you guys a good variety of pied ball pythons. Of course, all ball pythons and all reptiles are awesome. I just wanted to show you guys how versatile the gene can actually be. It's an awesome uh, genetics to get into. It would be pieds. You can get into anything that you are really passionate about, but I always have really been a good, a big fan of pieds. But if you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It really helps out. And we're going to be doing videos every Wednesday. So we'll see you next Wednesday.